started with a miller who was very proud. He spent most of his time boasting. He claimed no one could grind flour finer than he could, and he said his wife baked the best pies and cakes. But more than anything, he boasted about his beautiful daughter. One day, one of the king's royal servants was at the mill buying flour for the royal bakery, and he heard the miller bragging. Thank you, sir. Yes, my daughter's without question the most beautiful girl in the kingdom, and also the most intelligent. Yes, she's very clever. Why, she's so clever, she can she can spin straw into gold. No, she can't. Oh, yes, she can spin straw, straw like horses eat, into pure gold. Well, the royal servant knew how much the king loved gold. So when he returned to the palace, he told the king about the miller's silly boast. He said what? Oh, oh, he said his daughter could spin straw, straw like horses eat, into gold. Why, that's absurd. He was just telling tales. But I'll teach the miller not to lie, especially not lies about gold. Prepare a tower cell with a spinning wheel and a bale of straw and bring the miller's daughter to me. <laughs> we'll see if she can spin gold from straw. Your father says you know how to spin straw into gold. Ooh. Well, spin this straw into gold by sunrise, or I'll send your father to prison for telling lies. But wait! How can I spin straw into gold? Nobody can spin straw into gold. Oh, I can. Y you can? You mean, it can be done? Could you do it for me? Hmm, it's a big job. What a prize will you give me if I spin all this straw into gold for you? Oh, anything. Whatever you like. Hmm, will you give me your charming bracelet? Yes, certainly. <laughs> oh, you can do it! He's changing it to gold! Now, may I have my prize? Oh, yes! Thank you so much! Please, do forget it. I am glad to help. Oh, it's so beautiful! I didn't know it could be done. Well, how did you... Oh, goodbye. The next morning, the king arrived, wow. expecting to find the miller's crying daughter with the untouched pile of straw. But instead... There must be some trick. I must test it again, and I'll try for more this time. Remove the gold and lock her up until I return. And so the miller's daughter spent the entire day locked up wondering what would happen to her. Later that evening, the king came back, and this time he brought with him five bales of straw. Spin this straw into gold by morning, or else. What am I going to do? If only I knew how to find that kind little man. Look around. Maybe you'll find me. So, what is the problem now? The king wants me to do it again. Oh, more gold, eh? It's a big job. It's a big job. What prize will you give me if I spin all this straw into gold for you? Anything, anything, whatever you wish. Will you give me your fascinating silver ring? It was a gift from my mother, but I will gladly give it to you for your kindness in helping me. Now, may I have my ring, please? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. You are a very kind man. Please, think nothing of it. I am glad to help you. Oh. When the king came the next morning, he was thrilled by the sight of all the gold. He loved the gold so much that he decided not to set the miller's daughter free until she had made him the wealthiest king in the world. That evening, the king returned. This time, he brought enough straw to fill the entire chamber. If you can spin this room full of straw into gold by morning, I will make you my queen. But if you don't, you will stay locked up in this room for the rest of your life. 
kind little man won't find me again. But I already found you. So, what prize will you give me if I spin all this straw into gold for you? And you become queen. Whatever you want. Anything at all. But, but I have nothing left. Oh, when you are queen, you will have much. Oh, yes. Rings and bracelets, furs and hats. You can have anything you want. Anything? Yes, anything at all. Then it's a deal. little man. And now I will name my prize. You must give me your firstborn child. What? But, but I'm not even married. You soon will be married and I'll wait. Amazing. Incredible. I like it. But I can hardly believe it. Your father wasn't lying. Thank you, Miller's daughter. And now you may become my wife. And they did get married. There was a grand wedding at the palace. The Miller's daughter, or I should say the new queen, was so happy and overwhelmed that she forgot all about the little man and the prize he was to claim from her. She did not remember the little man even when she had her first child. But one day... Hello, I've come to collect my prize. Is it a boy or a girl? No, no, you can't mean it. You can have anything. My crown, my palace, whatever you wish. But you can't take my baby. Just as I thought. But you did make a promise and you will keep it. You have no power to break this promise. Your only hope is if you can guess my name. Your name? Yes, my name. Nobody knows what it is. And my name is the secret to my powers. Hmm, I'll give you three days. You may guess as many times as you like, but if after three days you have not guessed my name, I will take your baby. The unfortunate queen called for her most trusted messenger and sent him to make a list of every unusual name in the kingdom. Then she began reading the books in the royal library, trying to find the name that might be right. Copernicus, Da Vinci, Ptolemy, Archimedes. <gasps> Hello. Is your name Balthazar? No. Is it Engelbert? No. Aristotle nope. or Garamond? Nope. <laughs> no, not even close. Is it Rascal? The queen continued guessing for almost an hour before the little man vanished. The next day, she tried to think of silly names that the little man might use. When he appeared, she tried all the silly names. Is your name Spiderlegs or Cowribs? <laughs> Trittitrot oh. or Whoopity Story? Uh, no, no. Please don't make me laugh. Is it Jabberwocky, or Eggs Benedict, or Oompa Loompa, or Ewan McTeagle, or Cornelius Pudding, or Weebles Wobbling, or Mortimer Dariample, or Gervais Brook Hamster, Dingle Dangle Dongle, or Throat Wobbler Mangrove? You are running out of time. Don't forget that my next visit will be my last. Oh, I don't know how I can save my baby. Your Majesty? Come in. I have returned. I traveled throughout the kingdom, my lady, but I had no success finding unusual names. But last night, I stopped to rest my horse on a hillside, and I noticed a fire flickering off in the woods. I went quietly to investigate, and through the trees, I saw the strangest little man dancing around the fire. He kept singing the same song over and over. Soon I will win a baby from the queen, and I'll make it cook and clean. She'll guess and guess, but you'll lose this game, because Rumpelstiltskin is my name. The queen's messenger had done a wonderful thing for her. She was now ready for the little man when he arrived for the last time. La, 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 la. Why don't you guess? Come on. Is your name... 
John? No. <laughs> Is it George? No. Or Steve? No. Why don't you give up now? Is your name Rumpelstiltskin? No, no. What? That's not fair! 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 That